Hey there, it is Dan. And Rob. And you are with a mind body melt. As I step on the gas, here we go. Uh, I have a topic I want to share with everyone today as I pull out into oncoming traffic. Topic today is affirmations. And when I say the word affirmations, a lot of people right away go, ugh, affirmations, I don't know about that. And the reason that <laughs> the reason that comes about is there was a Saturday Night Live uh, skit and the guy's name was Stuart Smiley and he'd always give affirmations. He'd sit in front of the mirror with a really uh, dorky looking sweater and haircut and outfit and he would always say, I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and God damn it or God darn it. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it, that's the word. I know he didn't swear. People like me. And that came out in the 80s, I believe, right? Yes. So during that time, self-improvement was really getting big. You know, self-development, self-improvement has always kind of been around, but it really took off in the 80s. It became huge. And that's when SNL kind of made fun of the whole thing. But I am here to say that despite the coyness, you might think of with affirmations. Other examples of affirmations, too, are you might go to a store, you might see on like a block or like on a card, some sort of saying, like, you know, dance in the rain or something like that. And yeah, the typical thing is, huh, yeah, that's cute, but do they actually work? And I'm here to tell you that, yes, they actually work. So long story short, I had this client, this was a couple of years ago, and she had a lot of yo-yo weight loss, meaning she'd lose 20 pounds, gain 30, lose 40, gain 30. It was constantly up and down. So this went on for about a year and a half, and as a trainer, you uh, you kind of feel like a failure when you see a client putting on weight and then gaining it back, or losing weight and gaining it back. You're like, well, what's going on here? Why can't they do it? Is it something with me, my training methods, my nutrition recommendations? What is it? One day after a training session, she worked out, and then we meditated. Something profound happened during that session. She broke down crying. And it wasn't anything I said, I wasn't being mean or being a jerk or anything like that, but what happened was she thought of a memory and she went back to when she was seven years old and her older sister looked at her and said, you will always be ugly and you will always be fat. And she would say this a lot. It was when she was seven, eight, nine, ten, into her teens, she would hear this. And she'd cry then, and she was crying now. And the thing that she realized was her subconscious was pretty much sabotaging her. Because what she was saying to herself was, no, I am fat. She believed that, that I'll always be fat. So she would lose the weight and then gain it back. And she could never figure out why. And she realized it's really all in her mind. It's what she's saying to herself. Even the same kind of thing with us creating this channel. You know, if you go on our YouTube page, you'll see videos that were filmed in 2015. And we're here in 2018 now. This is actually a 2018 video. And part of it was that we recorded these, but there was almost, at first, a little fear behind releasing them. And are they good enough? Will people like these? Will they judge them? And it wasn't until really the last year or two that we said, who, first of all, who cares? But more importantly, no, people are going to like these and they're going to watch them. So we started putting them out there and now we already have at least 40 videos out there. Uh, we're putting videos out almost almost every week, if not less than every week. And we're growing, so watch out who's cutting you off in traffic. Previous video, I talked about not freaking out and screaming. Someone almost hit us. I casually hit the horn, didn't even, didn't even blink. So anyways, coming back to our original point. Whatever you say to yourself is very important. I can hear Rob. I can feel his energy. He wants to chime in. Rob, what do you have to say on this lovely topic? Well, affirmations are very important because, to me, affirmations equate um, habits. Yes. And and mm -hmm. and I think that they're synonymous. They're one and the same. And I think that subconsciously you create your own habits. You create your own success. You create your own failure. Um, and a lot of times, like you were talking about your client, you said, you know, I'm fat and ugly. Da, 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 da. Well, that was so deeply ingrained mm. in her subconscious that she, need to, she needed to have that pulled out. She almost had to have an exorcism, if you will. And, um, 
I, I run into that constantly with people that I train. Uh, I'll give you an example of a, a person that I trained with for a while. He, he played soccer in college. He was athletic, kind of a big guy. Um, but, you know, time had gotten away from him. He got married, had kids, and um, he just fell out of, he became inactive. And uh, when I was training him, he loved the workouts and he needed that motivation. He needed me to motivate him. And I kept explaining to him, I am not your motivator, okay? I can only go so far. You have to pull it out from within yourself. Uh, fast forward a couple years, I hadn't seen him in a while. He called me out of the blue and he said, look, um, I need to get into shape. I need to lose like 30, 40 pounds. Uh, lo and behold, it turned out he'd made a bet with a couple college buddies that, you know, throw a thousand dollars in, mm. um, who's going to lose the most weight by April. And I said, well, I said, I think because you're a big guy, I said, I think it's going to work for you because um, you're probably percentage wise, you're going to lose more weight. So he seemed pretty excited about it. A couple days later, I get an email from him. Oh, I was coming out of bed and my ankle, my ankle sore, I twisted it, I don't know what's going on, da 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 da. And my first inclination would be, or used to be, oh, come on, you can do it. You can get going. You can make it happen. I didn't respond to it. I said, let me know when you're ready. Because, and the point being, it comes from him. It comes from within. Right, exactly. Um, I can't make him do what he doesn't want to do. He's got to feel compelled to do it. That's where affirmations come in. He has to change his habits. His habits right now are bad, okay? No ifs, ands, or buts about it. But if he doesn't truly believe it, if he doesn't believe that he can lose the weight, if he doesn't feel good about himself, what I can do can only go so far. If he's not getting up every day feeling like, I'm doing this because I'm compelled to do it, because I'm going to see a better, a greater good in myself. I'm going to see results from it. It's going to be sustainable results. Then there's not much I can do. I, I can support him. I mean, uh, I, I can drag his ass out of bed and I can train him until the cows come home. But, you know, it's almost like the biggest loser scenario or syndrome where, you know, you're under a controlled environment for a finite period of time. You're controlling your diet, you're controlling your exercise. Uh, you've got somebody who's cracking the whip. And then after the fact, you go back to your old life and your old habits and you plunge right back into that world again. So you start to realize it's less to do with the physical and it's more of a mental manifestation of things. And so I, I wish this guy well. I'll probably reach out to him anyway because, you know, I, I want to see him succeed. But I know in my mind he's not ready he's not ready and that's what I've been able to determine over time and I can suss that out much quicker than I used to I used to kind of myself changing my own habits I used to run into a brick wall every time I can change this person I can make it happen for them I'm a difference maker it takes two to tango as they say and if the other person doesn't put in the prerequisite time or the belief system or create that belief system, then it's then that's not going to happen. So you know, we, we preach about it in the mind body meld all the time. We can show you the, the programs, you can do the workouts, but if you don't have the other two tangibles, the meditations and the affirmations, it's it's just not going to be sustainable. It's not going to work for you. Exactly. If you're only in this to look good you're gonna burn out and it's not gonna last. It, the real long-term change is in the mind. So focus on what you're saying to yourself. Try and catch yourself. If you say something negative to yourself, don't beat yourself up, because we all do that. But don't beat yourself up. Acknowledge it and just try to say more positive things to yourself. And look into your habits. What kind of habits are you sabotaging yourself? So how are you sabotaging yourself with your thoughts, your affirmations, what you're saying to yourself, and what you're doing in your habits. Until next time.